Hello guys, you're welcome again to another After Effects tutorial. Today, I'm gonna attempt to create the popular John Wick Chapter 4 cinematic title. Guess what? Without the use of any plugin. Take a look at it. And this is what we are going to attempt to create. So, support me on this one. Hit the like button on this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and do not forget to turn on the notification and then come back. Let's get started. Create a new composition. Name your composition. I'm going to be using 1920 by 1080 for the resolution. I'm going to set the frame rate to 30 frames per second. And then I'm going to leave this total duration to 10 seconds. Then hit OK. Right click on your timeline, go to new, then add a new text layer. So I'm going to quickly add the text, duplicate and arrange the title John Wick chapter 4 and then come back to you. Select all the text layer, right click on them and then pre compose. Make sure you select move all attributes to the new composition and name this title. The beauty of this technique is that you can always come back, change the text and use it for another film if you want to. So if you are interested in having the template or the project file from this tutorial, please leave me a comment in the comment section and I will send you a link to download the project file and you can use it for personal use or commercial use. Guys, go to effect and preset and look for the gradient ramp. Select it and add it to the new text uh, composition and then set your colors. I'm going to move these points around to determine where the ramp starts and where the ramp end. Ctrl D on your keyboard to duplicate the title layer and then go to effect and preset and search for Vegas drag and add it to the bottom text composition so we are going to make some changes to the parameters on effects and controls under the image contour set channel to alpha under segments make the segments one under the rendering set the blend mode to transparent change the color to a very warm color and set width to 2. Set hardness to 1. Set start opacity to 1 and midpoint opacity to 0 0.5 and end opacity to 0 0.280. Duplicate the title layer again. Then select the bottom one and change the color to a gray color. Then set width to 4. Right click on your timeline, go to new and then add a null object. Move the anchor point to center and align this to center. Move it to the top of the layer hierarchy and select all the three compositions and make it a child of the null object. Now hit enter key on your keyboard to rename this title control. Select the null object, hit S on your keyboard to reveal the scale property. We're going to animate this from 130 to 100 forward in time. Actually, the total time we're going to be needing for the entire animation is 6 seconds. So I'm going to move my time indicator to 6 seconds forward in time and then hit N on my keyboard to set that limit. Then move my time indicator again to 4 seconds forward in time and then set a keyframe for scale value and then move my time indicator again back to zero and then set the keyframe value to 130. Select the top title composition, Ctrl D on your keyboard to duplicate it. Then we are going to make some changes to the ramp color. Switch this to effects and controls and then make the ramp color lighter gray. Select the ellipse tool and max some parts out like this. 
select the layer hit f on your keyboard to reveal the feather property of the mask and set the feather to 10. now we're going to expand these uh, properties again and then keyframe the mask position move your time indicator to four seconds forward in time and set a keyframe for the mask path and then move your time indicator to about two seconds right here and then move the entire mask like this hit you on your keyboard to reveal the keyframes select the keyframes right click on them to easy ease this will make it have the 3d feel and light coming through it as it animates backward i'm gonna stretch out the keyframe so that this happens slowly if you collapse all options we now have four duplicated title composition so select the second one from the top and ctrl d on your keyboard to duplicate it again then go to your effect and preset and then search for light sweep select the cc light sweep and drag and drop it onto newly duplicated uh, title composition set the color to something very warm set the width to 200 set sweep intensity to 63 now we need to animate the direction of the light sweep so move your time indicator to about five seconds forward in time set a keyframe for the center and pick this and position it to this point then move your time indicator to about three seconds forward in time and then move the position again to outside this hit you on your keyboard to reveal the keyframes select them and then easy ease if you preview this now this is what you have on the fx and control panel select the cc light sweep again ctrl d on your keyboard to duplicate the effect and change the direction to 100 select the cc light sweep and change the position then move to the second keyframes move the knob again outside like this at this point we need to create a background for our animation to make this entire animation pop so right click on your timeline go to new and create a new solid set the solid color to black and name it bg select the bg layer ctrl d to duplicate it so let's create that warm look of the background now go to effect and then select the optical lens flare hit the options right here select one of these flares right here set the color once again to a warm color then hit ok i'm gonna move this uh, position x y to somewhat around this point then on the color here let's set that to warm color too i'm gonna move the center position to outside right here reduce the brightness to about 80. go to your effects and preset and then search for gaussian blur select drag and drop it to into the flare and set the blurriness to about 50. select the top layer right click on your timeline and go to new and create a new adjustment layer now go to effect and preset again and search for curve apply the curve effect to the adjustment layer create an s curve like this this will make the entire animation color pop so if you preview this now this is what we're gonna have So that is it guys, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit the like button, this will enable the algorithm to show this video to more people. Until I see you again on the next one, my name is SSB Otaru for Motion Digit Studios.